How do you feel? I'm feel. Good. I'm very feel. How you feel? I'm feel. I'm very feel. How do you feel? I'm feel. I'm very feel. You feel? Yes, I'm feel. I'm very, very feel. Welcome back, heroes and adventurers, ancient goddesses and demigods. I am the Ancient Gamer, and in this video, I'm going to show you a game that is a little bit like Skyrim, to fill the void if you don't feel like playing Skyrim. For my money, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is maybe the most underrated action RPG of the last five years. It isn't an old school Assassin's Creed game, it isn't The Witcher 3, and it isn't Skyrim, so it sort of falls through the cracks and gets slept on. But AC Odyssey does some things better than all of those games. For starters, if you're a history buff, particularly Greek mythology, this game is really for you. Odyssey is set in a super detailed, painstakingly recreated ancient Greece and set during the Peloponnesian War, roughly 400 BC. It isn't ancient Greece, it's ancient Greece before it was ancient, when it was just the Greek world, full of color and life. The first thing about Odyssey that has to be mentioned is its totally fucking gorgeous, gloriously massive map. And when I say massive, that is understating it. The map is basically the entirety of fucking Greece, from Crete up to Albania. I was a hundred hours into this game and still hadn't opened up the whole map. In this video, we're going to focus on the Valley of the Nymph and the village of Lalea, both of which still exist today in modern Greece. While there are probably a hundred plus smaller villages in Odyssey, something about Lalea just stuck with me. It's so pretty. It helps too that the graphics in Odyssey are so awesome, even four years after it released. This is absolutely one of the best, most amazing open world maps I've ever played on. To their credit, Ubisoft brought in a team of archaeologists and historians to consult on this game during production. You can find videos on YouTube where historians react to this game and its level of historical accuracy. Spoiler alert, they're very impressed. The story in Assassin's Creed Odyssey is excellent and throughout the game there are choices to make that genuinely affect the outcome. Depending on those choices, there are multiple endings to the main story and DLCs. Odyssey is also packed, packed with side quests, so many that a main complaint about the game is that there are just too many. This is a game that you can easily lose 200 hours playing. It's that huge. While you don't create a custom character from scratch, as in an Elder Scrolls or Fallout game, you do get to choose between male Alexios and female Cassandra. I chose Alexios, but Cassandra is canon, the game was written for her, and I think it's safe to say that Cassandra is the better character in choice. If I were going to replay Odyssey, I'd definitely choose Cassandra.
the thing is when you're playing Alexios you kind of almost get that sort of vibe that you know maybe this is Greek mythology um, you know as portrayed in a Univision telenovela especially when he's riding his horse you know along uh, the waves along the coastline in the ocean and stuff like that it definitely telenovela all the way um, but still I really did come to like Alexios a lot over time but Cassandra's definitely the better the better fucking character no doubt about it of Xerxes. For customization and RPG mechanics, there are skill trees. Hunter for ranged weapons. Feel like a stealth assassin? There's the stealth tree. If you like to swing that sword and duke it out, go with the warrior path. Or, as I did, blend them all. Heavy on the warrior tree. You can pick perks from any tree at any time. You're not slotted into just one. There is also a ton of cool gear, armor, and weapons to collect, all upgradable in a variety of ways. something I must arrange for an olive wreath to be placed on her door the woman I attended has given birth to a son that's wonderful midwife and he is healthy how is the mother the mother and son are strong so there is work to be done the father is a commander a message must be delivered to him and the sacrifice of goats must be made to thank the gods And you expect me to butcher some goats? No, just deliver it safely. All right, I'll do it. I can rest my mind then. Here, stranger. From a technical standpoint, Assassin's Creed Odyssey packs really excellent graphics even for 2021. It runs silky smooth at 60 frames per second on Xbox Series consoles and PlayStation 5. The combat is fluid and excellent. It has a very good story, branching choices, tons of side quests, character customization, everything you've come to expect in a good action RPG. There are many massive real-world ancient cities, countless smaller villages, islands, massive battles between armies, even romance. If you are into history and RPGs, you could do a hell of a lot worse than Assassin's Creed Odyssey. A midwife wanted you to have this. Oh, just what I needed. Take this for your trouble, Mistios. Something stranger? The followers are wasting food, Mistios. This can't go on. Wasting food? What do you mean? They burn food offerings to Ares, while people like me go starving. They must have piles of food in their camp. I'm desperate for food. So you want me to give you some drachmi? Yes. Any drachmi you can give helps. All right, here it is.
I am the Ancient Gamer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider coming back for more. Remember to give it a like. Make it happy. That makes the video feel good. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That makes you feel good. It's all about the games we play and love and love to play. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon with more stuff.